Hey folks, Jeff Rowe here. Uh, I thought I'd film a quick uh, office tour since I'm going to be heading back to work tomorrow. I'm kind of getting the office in, in order because it's been kind of used as storage while I've been out. I'm trying to get it cleaned up and I thought I'd give you all a quick tour. See what you think. Okay, so we're heading in here. Close the door behind me because I believe Kristen's filming something in the bedroom. And starting over here at the left, this is my closet. I've got uh, storage for comic books, basically. It's all comic books all the way through. And there's a fine line between collecting and hoarding. And I think I might be getting up on that line. Um, I've got some pops here that my cousin wants. Her and her kids are big Star Wars fans, so I'm selling a lot of my pops. So she's going to get those. Moving along this way, one of the centerpieces of my room, the finished Millennium Falcon. This is the UCS, our Ultimate Collector Series edition of the, the Falcon. It's the one that's 7,500 pieces. It took me quite a few weeks to build. There's my hand as a, uh, a scale. And all these panels lift off and you can see inside the Falcon, but I don't want to take it apart just yet. This is my desk. This is where I take calls. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm getting everything cleaned up for the return to work. So this needs to be dusted. I need to clean off the rest of the, the stuff that's been up there for months and get it ready for my return. The room is still somewhat storage. So I've got some bins here and Kristen's and my little mobile cart. I used it to, to build a couple Lego sets, but just storage. I think there's some Lego stuff in there. There's some odds and ends that I'm going to sell. Um, I think some electronics, but anyway. So behind that is my, this is my bookshelf with the Lego street on top of it. These are the Lego expert creator buildings. And these are some of my favorite Lego sets. These were a lot of fun to build. They're really detailed. They all snap together to form one, you know, continuous street. And they're really detailed on the inside. There's, the rooms aren't empty. There's, there's stuff going on. Um, there's like, one of them has like an art studio. There's a detective's office in there. There's a bakery. It's very cool. I love those sets. I'm missing three of them. And one of them is about to retire. So we might have to pick that up. So we've just got some some books here and some odds and ends. We've got our, uh, I've got some droids over here. R2 and the spider bot are from Disneyland and BB-8 back there is just from Best Buy, but he's a little Sphero droid that you can roll around remote control. Then I've got the smaller Millennium Falcon. I had got this a couple years ago. I like this set a lot. This is the blacksmith shop. Uh, I built this a couple months ago. One of the cool things is the the little furnace here, if you press on the bellows, it actually lights up. It's got a light brick in there. Get in there. So that's neat. And of course, I love anything space and NASA, so buying the shuttle was a no-brainer. Kind of had to do it. And we've got one of my favorite Star Wars droids, BD-1, from the game Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Outcast. Love that little guy. He's cute. His head moves. You can tilt it. Oh, we've got some. This is our. This is our dice collection from when we were playing role playing games, twenty four seven, and I just kind of inherited it myself. Most of them are mine anyway, but I think some of the friends have got stuff mixed in here. But got some recent metal dice. I love. I love a good metal die. And finally, as far as Legos go, we've got the Back to the Future DeLorean. This is the most recent set I've built. I love this set. I love this movie. The doors open. You've got the front compartment that won't open here. There's a trunk. You've got the hoverboard and the box of nuclear material that Doc Brown stole. And it's got the Mr. Fusion on the back. It's, it's all there. Also, near the games, we have some Lorcana stuff. And if you're not in the know yet, Lorcana is a new collectible card game 
uh, by Ravensburger, who also happens to make puzzles. But Lurkana is a, it's a game like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, but it's all Disney characters and items. It's, it's very fun so far. Mario and I have played a couple games and we're kind of getting used to, uh, you, we're getting used to the game and how it's played. Here's a sample card right here. And product is very hard to get right now, but I've managed to get um, all three starter decks and a sizable collection of cards to um, mix and match to build decks with. So we've been checking that out and it's pretty fun so far. Um, if you like collectible card games and you like Disney, it's a no-brainer. You should like it. However, finding the game is tricky. It's They didn't really produce enough of it, and it's sold out almost everywhere you go. So, good luck. So, moving down past the shuttle, we've got our board game collection that we're working on. It's coming along nicely. we got some puzzles and stuff up there. We've got our board games out here. Wingspan is a lot of fun. We like that a lot. Red Dragon Inn is a great party game. I highly recommend that. We actually haven't played Villainous or Marvel Champions yet, but I really want to play Marvel Champions. I bought that and a couple expansions. Mind Management is one of my favorite comic books ever, and the artist slash writer and a games company off the page decided to create a game together, and that is the result. It's really cool, but it's complicated, and I honestly haven't completely learned how to play it yet. Working on that. So, moving along, back there we've got some swords and weapons of various types. Got the, the light-up LED blades for my lightsabers. And then I've got a reproduction of Aragorn's sword from Lord of the Rings that, uh, you'll have to trust me, comes out of the scabbard. We've got a couple more lightsaber blades. And we've got Lucius Malfoy's cane wand. I found this at Universal Studios and I had to have it. Just like the movie. And it's heavy. This is metal. This is not a very light. It's not a toy. That is a reproduction. Although it doesn't stay in the cane very. You can kind of shake it out. So you got to be careful when you're walking with it. And which brings us to the last wall of the office and really probably my favorite wall. Don't tell the Legos I said that. But these are all my graphic novels, omnibuses, trade paperbacks. I've got a lot of them. I've got so many because I found a website that offers them a deep discount because some of these books are not cheap. So you got to buy smart. So over here, I've got my graded comic books. I've got the CGC Signature Series on the top. These are comics that CGC has witnessed the person sign the book and then they take it for grading and give it back to you. And these are just the regular graded books with no signature. So for example, right off the top, we've got one of my newest items. This is X-Men 13 signed by Arthur Adams just uh, a month or two ago. And this is of course, Jean Grey as Phoenix and Arthur Adams signed it. And here's another one that just signed at the same event. And you'll notice they have the yellow label at the top. That signifies that it has been signed in witness by CGC. This one is signed by Jonathan Hickman, one of my favorite comic book writers. So back to the comic shelf. Um, well, first off up here, I've got my one of my lightsabers, this is Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order, and my pin board. This is a little sea otter I just got at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Her name is Rosa, like one of the sea otters at the aquarium. So this is my pin board. I collect enamel pins. This is probably most of them. I do have a couple bags packed away that have some odds and ends 
but this is the majority of them and these are probably my favorites. These have come from, from Disneyland, from the internet, from Etsy shops, really all over the place. From Toddland.com, the Bob's Burgers ones, well, some of the Bob's Burgers ones. And yeah, I love these things. And then the rest, we'll jump over here to my backpack. I've got the rest on my, the backpack I use the most. And these are actually some of my favorites. Of course, we got Captain Marvel and Louise, Spider Gwen, Goose from Saga, Coochie Kopi, Tina and the kids, and Grogu and Storm, and our magic key from being a season pass holder at Disneyland, and join the resistance, because always be a rebel at heart. So, back to the books. Omnibuses. I'm not going to go over the whole shelf, but I've got my, my X-Men omnibuses here. And these are larger collections of stories, usually broken up by the creative team. So this is going to be Chris Claremont and um, Dave Cockrum and John Byrne. They were the writer and artists on these. And those could typically have up to 20 or so comics within them. So it's a nice collection to have. And then moving along, we have more X-Men. X-Men has always been one of my favorites. And of course, we're also seeing my lightsabers. This one is from Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. This is one of the build your own lightsabers, which is, if you're a Star Wars fan, it's an amazing experience. And I also have a video up on that you can check out. We'll turn that off. And of course, that's a reproduction of this is actually Luke's saber that was broken and then repaired by Ray. So we've got that repair done there. I really like this saber. And of course, it's not the repaired version, but this is the saber that started it all. So you got to love it. And this is the first saber I built at Disneyland's Galaxy's Edge, which is probably why it's one of my favorites of all of them. I think my favorite might be Cal Kestis's just because of the detail and the weight. This thing is heavy. This will always, always have a special place in my heart because it's the first one I built. So we've got more omnibuses and we start getting into trade paperbacks. We've got trades from Image and Dark Horse and a couple of the other independent companies. I've got two awards there I won at work over the past couple of years. Very proud of those. And just more omnibuses and more books and some stuffed animals. We got some little shoulder buddies from Disneyland that have little magnets that they can ride on your shoulder all day. So those are really cute. And another another otter from the aquarium. We love the aquarium. Um, we got some Jedi and Sith holocrons over there that came from Disneyland. I bought the Jedi Holocron and then my mother-in-law got me the Sith one as a present because she's awesome. That is pretty much the shelf. You can also see I've got some pops here and there. Love pops, but I'm actually trying to sell off a bunch of mine right now. Well, that's the tour. I appreciate if you stuck through to the end. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you have a question about something that you saw on one of the shelves that I didn't talk about, let me know. I love talking about geek stuff, so hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. And thanks again for viewing. Have a great day.